do you think that Patrick at Total is right? Do you think that there was too much emphasis put on what happened in the Suez Canal? Well, it depends on which market you're talking about. If you're talking about the oil markets, uh, then he's right, because the oil market uh, doesn't have a huge impact just because the Suez Canal has been blocked, because we saw it in terms of the prices, in terms of how the market react. Yes, there was a kind of a knee-jerk reaction last week when, as soon as the event happened, because there was a lack of clarity. There was not enough information on how long this was expected to cause a delay and what kind of a bottleneck this is going to create. But then on the, if you actually see towards uh, Friday or even towards uh, Monday morning when the market opened, the prices started falling back again when they heard the news that the ship started moving and then there was a slight indication that the kennel was going to reopen again. So if at all there is one sector in the market where the prices are going to be impacted, it's going to be more on the product side of things, which is be more specifically on the, on, on the lightens, that is like NAFTA where the Asian market is quite heavily dependent in terms of the volumes flowing from Europe and Middle East. But apart from that, for the crude markets, not too much. When you think about this with regards to the meeting that we're going to have in a couple of days from now, the OPEC Plus um, uh, group getting together, uh, going to be talking, no doubt, about um, extending potentially those um, cuts. Where do you see us headed? So. The oil markets, even before the whole Suez incident happened, has been predominantly a demand-based focused kind of a scenario at this point in time because of the whole coronavirus pandemic and because of how the various external lockdowns that's happening in the various European markets and the US coming out of the out of, out of their own crisis and into the pandemic uh, action as well. So it has always been a demand-based story than a supply-based story because the uh, the opinion is they are waiting for the demand to pick up. We are waiting for the markets to start taking in more oil. And that has been the primary reason why OPEC has been kind of pushing in order to curb their supplies as long as possible in order to sustain the prices. And I don't think that has fundamentally changed. The, the, the last one week has just been like a headline, which has come into the story and has given some kind of a push for uh, some market players to kind of take positions in the market. But apart from that, the fundamentals hasn't changed than what it was just about a week or two weeks ago. So